The game is like shopping. The more items that are added to the shopping basket, the more they enhance the score. The following images will show you the game mechanics, the various card collections, and finally, the scoring. Canasta is an extension of Romy. It begins by melding or laying down three card units to accumulate points. The units are later expanded to a total of seven cards to form canasta or runs, which greatly adds to their value. The final aim is to reach 5,000 points for victory in as few games as possible. All melded cards accrue a negative score. Until a canasta is made, then all values turn positive. Thus to protect the melded scores, a canasta should be made as soon as possible. The game uses two packs of cards. Each pack should contain 52 cards, two jokers, and a third joker if supplied. If not, then use the bridge score card as the third joker. Cards from 3 to 7 are worth 5 points. From the king down to the 8, cards are worth 10 points. The aces are worth 15 points. The twos as wild cards are worth 20 points. The jokers have a value of 30 points. Shuffle 2 packs of cards. Cutting the deck. Deal 11 cards to each of 4 players. Deal 14 cards per player, if 3 players. Deal 17 cards per player, if 2 players. Between 4 players, the game is a balanced partnership. Each partner can contribute with single or multiple additions to enhance the melds. It is a combined effort for accruing score, and together by mutual consent deciding on a tactical end, to each game. In the three or two player situation, each person plays alone, they start their own melds, and no one can add to these melds but the original melder. The partnership game requires, one can ask to and the partner's consent, before they can, exit the game. The three players game is rather unbalanced, as the third player is twice removed from the discards of the first player. To redress this situation the rules require the single players to have completed two canastas before they can exit. For this reason, the number of cards dealt to two or three players is 14 or 17, so that the two canastas can even be made in the hand. After receiving your 11 cards, see if you got a red 3. If so, then exchange it for another card. Keep that card and any other red 3s face up on the table by your side. Keep your exchanged red threes, and those of your partners together. Each one, confers a bonus of 100 points. Collecting all four red threes, doubles the bonus to 800 points. The exception is, when the 3 is kept for a proposed run.
but in such case, it loses its 100 point bonus. And the advantage is, that it doubles the value of the completed run. Start the game by dealing four surprise cards from the stock, face down, and a fifth card turned up. Next, the leading player either takes a card from the stockpile or picks up the discard pile to pick up the entire discard pile. Two natural cards with the same number as the top of the discards must be held by the player in the hand. Then, show such pair from the hand cards and collect all the discard cards. The discard pile can only be taken with two similar cards. The rest of the discards can then be used for any other sets or runs. All such cards can even help to make up the initial melding score or increase melded sets towards canastas. The game is a balance between giving away the discard pile or protecting it for oneself. The initial melding points requirement With scores under 1,500, 50 points are required. With scores between 1,505 and 3,000, 90 points are needed. For scores above 3,005, the requirement is 120 points. This rule is designed for leveling play by altering the difficulty of melding. It is an uphill task to start melding by getting a higher score. Much easier to meld if the difficulty is leveled for those with lower scores. The starting melding points for each new game must come entirely from the hand cards or the hand cards plus the discard pile cards for subsequent melds that add to the initial sets there are no points requirements players can add one or more cards new sets or any number of wild cards This is an example of making up the initial melding score of 50 points. Meld 3 eighths of 10 points each that add up to 30 points. Adding 3 fives and a joker makes a total of 75 points, well in excess of the required 50. But not enough points are available for the initial meld, even including the discard pile cards. In this case, the player has to return all the discard pile cards. And penalty points will be deducted from the score, depending on the type of card handling. 
This is a false pickup, without mixing the discards. The player picks up the top discard card, with two eights, and takes the discards. The discards are examined for points, but are never mixed, with the hand cards. But not enough points are available, for the initial meld, even including, the discard pile cards. The player returns the discards, plus the top card, and is deducted 500 points. A false pickup. Mixing the discards. The collected discard pile cards are mixed with the hand cards. But again, there are not enough points to reach the melding score. The player thus returns the discard pile cards and is deducted 1000 points. All the cards are shuffled and the player is dealt just 11 random cards to continue playing. Initial melding score. As we saw earlier, the player does not need to have all the points in the hand. The discard pile cards can help, but beware of mixing these with the hand cards. One exception is that the black threes are allowed to help make up the 120 points, only if no other cards are available. The role of the black threes is to act as pickup blockers. If the discard pile has a black three on top, it cannot be taken. The discard pile is in this way protected from a pickup. Black threes cannot be melded as threesomes. Two black threes cannot pick up the discard pile. Black threes can be used to form runs, but can't be picked up from the discard pile for an existing melded run. Three or four black threes can be used to meld out at the end of a game. Impossible to pick up. The discard pile cannot be taken with a 9 and 7 of the same suit to make a run. Or with an 8 and Joker or a 2 as a pickup pair. A pair of natural cards is always needed, thus pairs in the hand are very important. But once a meld is on the table, in this case, the 8 taken from the discard pile is added to the melded 8s. And the rest of the discard pile can be used to form other card sets. Crossing or freezing the discard pile is achieved by placing a wild card, joker or two, across the pile. This forces subsequent players to use a pair for pickup instead of using the melded sets.
With such cross discard pile, the new eight can't be taken to increase those other five melded eights on the table. To unblock a cross discard pile, use a natural pair of similar cards. To pick up the four from the discard pile, then take the rest of the discards and add them to the hand cards to use as required, and finally discard a new card. To make a canasta, seven cards are needed. The initial three eights. Plus another four cards, added by the player, or partnership. In this case another three eights, and a joker, as a wild card. A canasta must have a minimum of four natural numbers, and the other three can be more of the same number, or wild cards, like twos or jokers. To complete the seven required cards, the conventional canasta display. Completed canastas have their cards stacked face up. And also show a different color to signal their type. A mixed canasta has a black suited card on top. A royal canasta has a red suited card on top. Not only triplets can be melded, but also runs, and wild card collections, as shown here. Remember that three are always the minimum number of cards required. There should be 14 of these wild cards. And a mixture of seven wild cards makes a canasta. But a canasta of seven twos is a royal one worth double the points. The hand canasta. This is a canasta, constructed entirely in the hand, and melded all at once. It can be either, a mixed or royal canasta, but its value is doubled by this action. The hand canasta, cannot be made with cards, picked up from the discard pile. The cards are entirely accumulated, in the hand, to be melded later, all at once. It can be either, a mixed or royal canasta, but its total card value must comply, with the required melding score. Constructing runs. Start by melding three or more cards, of the same suit, but no wild cards are allowed. Q 
keep adding more cards until the run consists of seven cards. This run is then completed and has a much greater value than all its individual cards. The various types of runs. An ordinary run started with the top card the ace. A run including a red three has doubled the score. An ordinary run including a black three and a wild card. Conventional run display. Unlike the canastas, the runs are not stacked. Simply display a finished run by crossing the last card across the vertical display, but never add any further cards. The quake, or flash exit. This is a surprise tactical move, when all 11 hand cards, are melded at once. These must contain, a canasta and a sequence or foursome. Thus ending, this particular game. It takes place, without consulting the partner, who then has, all the hand cards as, positive score. Exit consent. Only applies to the partnership game, when one player must, consult the partner and seek agreement, before exiting from the game. If agreed, the exiting player closes the game by discarding a card face down. But note, players can't exit before making a canasta. At this stage, all the points of the canastas, runs and other melds are counted. All melded cards on the table have a positive score. If a canasta was made, all cards held in the hand, and those on the table without a canasta, score negative points. First count the points for the canastas. And add the value of the red threes. Then count the value of all melded cards and deduct the value of all handheld cards. Add all three scores and that is the total for the game. The value of canastas and runs. Mixed canasta 300 points. Royal canasta 500 points. Mixed Wild Canasta, 2,000 points. Wild Royal Canasta, 4,000 points. Normal Run, 1,500 points. Run with Red 3, 3,000 points. These are the most challenging play options. For obtaining extra bonus points with Canastas and Runs. 5,000 extra points are awarded for making 7 canastas or canasta of canastas. An extra 10,000 points are given for 4 runs, one of each suit. And that's how to play canasta.